It is 10.05 Sunday, December 7th. What's up? So, this weekend, totally busy. Did not get a single woodworking thing done. Um, Saturday, my wife had a Tupperware event. So I had to get the boys ready. We drove, you know, 15-20 minutes down to where her event was. Got the Easy Up set up. Um, got her booth set up and then took the boys, went and got donuts and went and got my hair cut because, you know, I was starting to get uh, looking really bald. Um, it's like the more hair I have, the balder I look. How does that work? Um, Thursday, I think it was, or you know, a couple weeks ago, I was talking to a buddy at work and, you know, about woodworking stuff and he mentioned that, hey, I found my dad's old saw. And he's like 60, so his dad, you know, was definitely older than that. But uh, mentioned that he had his dad's old miter saw. Uh, would I be interested in getting it? It's like, hell yeah. So he brought it in, uh, pretty much gave it to me. Uh, I'm going to make him a couple of Smokey the Bear stickers because I have a vinyl cutter. And, you know, pretty much call it even. So this thing is really cool. Uh, it glides right along here with these little bearings and everything. So I want to try just to clean this up in general, because it's been sitting in a shelf for years. But uh, I'm, I'm really excited to have this thing, and I actually want to try to use it. So uh, the only thing, found these. Oh, now that I say that, I wonder if they go here for the front legs. Uh, no, just a little bit too big. Uh, they were in this thing. So, I'm not sure how they go. And then, uh, I'm assuming that these are hold to hold the uh, workpiece in place, but they were shoved here in the back when I got it. So, but this seems to be like the logical place for them to go. So anyway, so that's as far as out as they go. This is uh, what I want to try using, because this thing is really cool. And so this is so... It slides up like that for taller pieces. So, this thing is awesome. They don't make stuff like this anymore. Uh, I was looking online and they actually make the modern version of this. I didn't realize it. Um, but where it holds the saw and, and, and for doing um, miter cuts. So, if I would have known that those were in existence, I would have got one of those a while back. But, anyway, this thing's cool. Um, like I said, super busy this weekend, uh, set my wife up for her booth for Tupperware, which uh, I think I've mentioned before, my wife does Tupperware. I'll put a link down in the description. Um, and then, so we went to Donuts, got my hair cut, went and got the boys donuts. Um, and then about noonish, went and got a Subway sandwich, brought it out to her, kind of surprised her. Then we came back, got the little one down for his nap, um, started editing finally the video from last weekend um, which that's pretty much all done now so I'm going to upload it uh, tomorrow night and it'll be ready Tuesday and it's not necessarily a project I think I mentioned it in last week's vlog um, but it was raining so I just got the red uh, cedar ice chest sanded it down and um, put a, I think three coats of of uh, spar urethane on the outside and one coat on the inside because that shouldn't be getting too wet um, and then I put it up for sale on Facebook and within 12 hours I had somebody hey interested you know I want to buy it kind of, you know pick it up Saturday no problem so then yesterday uh, one of the reasons I ended up taking lunch out to my wife is because this lady uh, messages me on Facebook says hey I can't uh, you know I got called into work we can't do it today Okay, great. You know, so I messaged back to you. Know, can we do it? You know, tomorrow? Because she wanted to do it after six last or last night, and um, we actually went to my company party last night out at uh, I think it was a Orange Hill restaurant. Um, so it's a restaurant out in Orange, California, and there's a hill that it's. So I mean, you go to this little driveway and you go up this hill. And it's a it's a nice place, um, valet parking only, and um, 
you know, they had good food and the view was awesome. There was just like this hill out in the middle of nowhere. And this is at the top of it, and you can see all Orange County just out in front of you. Um, at one point, the, um, the fireworks were going off over Disneyland, so it was kind of far away. So they, you know, they weren't like right up on you, but you could see the fireworks. So that was really cool. So I think we didn't go from that till midnight. And, oh, took forever to get out there because there was a seven-car pileup on the 91. So that always sucks when you're trying to get to a, a work function, but it all worked out in the end. And then today was just busy as hell. Uh, normally I would have slept in until you know, 9 or 10, but we got up at 8, got our, uh, the boys ready, and we celebrated my youngest 5th uh, birth or fifth birthday today. So we baked a cake this morning, uh, two 8-inch layers, and or actually him and my wife did. My wife and him, him and my wife, my wife and him, he and my wife. So let's say, I'm going to go with he and my wife. Uh, if you know the proper way, leave a comment. Um, so they baked two 8-inch rounds, and then when I got up and got going, I went, got him, went to the um, store to get some frosting, and he wanted sprinkles, and he wanted pink icing. He, he's in a pink kick right now. Uh, I didn't want a mouthful of pink icing, so you can see what we did. Um, so we did the cake, and we got him and the other one, and we went and saw Santa. So went to Ontario Mills. Um, we went usually we go to we used to go to Bass Pro Shops, but they have a two or three hour wait time now. Um, and it's I mean it's a cool it's a cool location, but and they usually have good Santas, but just two or three hours waiting. You know, especially today we just couldn't do it today. So went to Ontario Mills and we got the best Santa actually that, that we've had so far there, which is nice. And once we found Santa because he wasn't in the main area. We had to go all the way around because that place is huge. Um, <clears throat> once found Santa, so we got our Santa pick done. So after I'm done with this and I'm uploading it, I'm actually going to go on Costco and order some Christmas cards. Um, and then we went to Toys R Us uh, on the child's birthday. You can bring him in and we give him a crown and a balloon. And then we got a $3 um, gift card for him. So we usually go in and find a five or six dollar item, and you'll let them pick one. Um, and then we went to Chuck E. Cheese. So he's been looking forward to that all week. So went online to ChuckEcheese.com, and they have online coupons. And we have one that you know closer to us that we usually go to. But since we're at Toys R Us, we went to one closer to Toys R Us. And that one was nice. And it was decently clean, not super crowded, but. We ended up getting um, the the cheapest pizza combo they had, which was a medium pizza, two drinks, and I think 25 tokens. And then um, we added on a salad bar. We added on a drink for my uh, mother-in-law. Uh, we added on a chicken nugget meal because that one won't eat pizza. The other one will at least, but that one won't eat pizza. Um, and then it was $20 for another 100 tokens, which worth every penny. So I think we... Out the door, it would be a 59-something. Oh, you know what just occurred to me? We bought him a present and forgot to give it to him. With everything else going on, we didn't give him his present. Holy crap. He's going to get a present tomorrow. Uh, we always try to keep... His birthday is closer to Christmas, so we always celebrate it earlier. Um, the first Sunday of the month. We usually do the first Saturday of the month. And then Sunday, decorate for Christmas, but um, we'll usually have a party here. So we'll have a party on Saturday, and then Sunday, decorate for Christmas. But with the uh, Tupperware thing my wife did yesterday, we moved it all to today. So that bumps me out about the present. Um, so then we did that, then we came home, and I decorated the cake, which you can see here again. So I'm not like an awesome decorator, but I like to decorate. Among my amongst my many hobbies, um, so we did that, and then my wife had to go do some run around, deliver some Tupperware stuff, and the little one wanted nuggets and French fries for dinner. So hey, it's your birthday, kid. Let's go to McDonald's. So we went to McDonald's for an hour um, because they had the um, the one that we went to has 
the video games, you know, the touchscreen video games. Normally I take them to the, um, to the McDonald's that has the Playland, but he's got, you know, he's, you know, a gimp right now with a broken arm, which that's supposed to come off tomorrow. Um, so I took him to that one. And then my wife got home, then the rest of us had dinner, and then we had cake and ice cream, and it was time for everybody to go to bed. So, this has just been like the longest day ever. So, hopefully I'm going to play with this during the week. Um, I don't know if I showed you my the shelf I was going to try to make, but I messed up the cuts. I think I did. I messed up the cuts on this thing. The idea being... Yeah, I remember doing this, so... The idea being that the uh, this piece was supposed to be tall like this, so I didn't cut this down far enough. So I think next weekend I'm going to redo this out of plywood. And then what I'm going to do is I redesigned it for it to go like this, and then I'm just going to put together with the uh, uh, glue and screws, just to make it easier, because I'm going to paint it. So these will be up like that, and then like I said, the bottom, the idea being, um, actually, I think on the redesign, I'm just leaving it like that, not putting a brace on the bottom, that's what it was, just, uh, just to simplify it. And like I said, I'm going to do the screws in the thinking that, you know, not everybody has a brad nailer or the other stuff. So we'll see. That's what I'm thinking about doing. But this is going to be another busy week. Um, there's a local amusement park. So my son's um, um, Boy Scout troop were having his meeting out at the amusement park. So I'm looking forward to that. That'll be a, lo that'll be a good time. And they're all going to be there in their Class A uniforms. So it's going to be a whole bunch of little, you know, Boy Scout, Cub Scouts all running around this, you know, little amusement place. And um, everybody who's, you know, caught up on their dues, it's automatically paid for. So, you know, that's kind of cool. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, Tuesday uh, will be the video for, um, for the Cooler Bucks. And I actually finally made a, an ending splash page where, you know, you got me talking and then a little video of my, my latest project and a little video of my latest vlog to where, you know, hey, go to those and it's an actual done thing as opposed to just, you know, me pointing and being, a, you know, just a little clip there. So I actually designed it. Um, it doesn't look awesome, but, you know, it's step one. But anyway... That's pretty much it. Um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I will see you next Sunday. And you know what? I had an idea. Also, I'm going to start writing. I'm going to try to write a uh, a blog entry every week, uh, hopefully on Saturdays, of uh, what woodworking videos did I watch this week. Trying to get a lot of W's in there to go with the fun with woodworking. Um, and I want to start, you know, because I subscribe to a lot of, of YouTube channels. And the majority of them are ones that, that I like. But, you know, I don't like every single, you know, not every single one is super interesting. Um, so just figure, put an article out and list, you know, hey, here's the woodworking videos I watched this week. You may want to check them out. Um, I might write little blurbs about them. Not 100% sure yet. But it's just something, uh, I'm trying to get more active on the website. So uh, if you guys have any ideas of other stuff you'd like me to write articles about, you know, please let me know. Um, I'm going to try to start writing articles about the projects too. We'll see. Um, I just, you know, I work a lot. So I'm, you know, I leave at 10 to 7 in the morning and I get home at 7.15 at night. So i got to, you know, work this stuff in where I can. But anyway, that's, uh, that's my latest thought, my latest idea. These vlogs are turning super long again, so i got to try to shorten them up. But anyway, uh, thanks a lot. See you next week.